Especially me, right? Okay, video summary. It's music, maybe I should stop the music. They put it a little lower. Please. Okay, so. This is similar to what we did last time, but with somewhat more detail. Okay, so once again, I remind you that tango is most, mostly turning, walking and turning. Okay, so an exercise is we both move in a straight line with the idea is that we looking at our partner. So you notice in this case, when she does a forward cross, I'm doing a backward cross. When she does a backward cross, I'm doing a forward cross. But I could also do a forward cross when she does a forward cross. I could do a backward cross when she does a backward cross, really. There are many possibilities. As you get better with this, you can play with the rhythm. Okay, two ways of exercising this. One way, okay, the guy, well, lady's got her eyes closed and she's only feeling my body. I'm not using my hands. If I do not, okay, I want the lady to take only a single step. I want the lady to be fully on the landing foot, on the foot she lands on, before moving 100% of her weight on this foot. That way to take the next step becomes easier. I can make her do a forward cross simply by moving slightly away from her. I can make her do a backward cross simply by moving into her space, moving towards her. So therefore, okay, most of the time, the lady's doing a succession of side step, backward cross, side step, forward cross. However, it goes without saying that I can change it, and that's more difficult. Notice I'm making her do only forward crosses, and now I'm making her do only backward crosses. But that's for later, it's more difficult. Okay, so any rule that I stay can be broken. Okay, but you've gotta know what you're doing. Okay, the other version is when the lady's got her eyes open, and you have no hands at all. Now it's obvious that when I do that, She's following my body. I want the body to move. One, two, three. One, two. As we get better, she will respond faster. The difficulty is how to make sure you respond fast without moving to the next step. That's quite difficult. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so, so that's actually harder than it looks, right? So that's, that's a lady developing sensitivity to the guy. If she's able to follow that kind of motion without touch, then the, with the touch you can actually do more, right? But if the guy's got to worry about making the lady do that by manipulating the hands, then there are additional things that he can't do. I mean, there's too, much, too many concepts being mixed together, right? Okay, so... Then the exercise that we did last time was something similar to this, which can be done in a variety of ways. Once again, you can change the direction. You can practice this no hands. And if you hold in hands, the lady can practice with her eyes closed. Eyes closed with the lady, notice how she continued going. Okay, so, so that's either the guy putting too much energy into it, or the lady anticipating. It's a combination of both, tango, it's always both people's fault, most of the time the guys. Okay, that's just the reality of the situation. Yes, okay. But it could be the ladies. But you should just ignore it. Because for your relationship, you just ignore that. Okay. So, so, okay, so the ladies practicing her eyes closed is always a good idea, in my opinion. I didn't used to believe that. Because then she's not looking at you. She's only feeling you. And tango's about feeling. Okay? Then we put this together in the sequence. Here is third step of the basic. I make it to a side step. Forward. Side. Back. Cross. For this to work well, okay, you want the lady to really be fully 100% on the leg she's going on. And how do you judge whether you're 100% on the leg you're moving on? If the lady Okay, leave the foot on the floor. Okay, the lady's gonna have a foot on the floor. Now, if I tell the lady to lift the foot off the floor, 
There should be no body adjustment. If the lady is only partially on the back leg and has some pressure on the front leg and now lift it, she's going to have to move the body slightly. If she moves the body even a little bit, it means she was not 100% on that leg. If she is 100% on the leg, it becomes much easier for the guy to make a do a variety of things because there's no pressure on this leg. So the guy no longer has to worry about getting rid of that pressure. All he's got to move is right away to the next move. So the key point here is that the end of a single step, at the end of a step, should be the beginning of the next step. There should be no preparation for the next step. The preparation's been done already. Boom. As you get more advanced, you can do more sophisticated things and you can break these rules. But not for now, not for the foreseeable future. You can do a lot, a lot, a lot without having to break these rules. The key thing is, if we teach the ladies to actually follow according to the feeling of the guy, she will be able to do steps with guys that she's never danced before, and she'll be able to do steps and rhythmic combinations that she's never done before, and she'll have no idea how she's doing it, but if, because the body's gonna feel the guy. Ultimately, you're responding to the body, to the guy's body. You're not responding to his feet. The guy may play rhythmic variations with the feet, but your feet, the only role your feet are doing is preventing you from falling. You know, everything is simplified, right? But that's really what it is. Okay, so this is today's lesson.